implication conveyed by the passage to tackle the problem of pollution in cities policy makers think that drastic actions like temporary use of odd even number scheme for vehicles closing schools factories construction activities and banning the use of certain type of vehicles are a way forward author saying policy makers think drastic actions are a way forward these are the examples of drastic actions even then the air is not clean vehicles more than 15 years old comprise 1% of the total and taking them off the road will not make any difference banning certain fuels and car types arbitrarily is not proper diesel engines produce more pm 2.5 and less co2 than petrol or cng engines on the other hand both diesel and cng engines produce more noh than petrol engines no one has measured the amount of noh that cng engines are emitting arbitrary bans on vehicles that have passed mandated fitness tests and periodic pollution tests are unfair what is needed is the scientific and reliable information about the source of pollutants on a continuing basis and the technologies that will work to reduce pollution from them drastic actions are not way forward we need scientific and reliable information about source of pollutants and the technology that will reduce the pollution from them this is what is needed arbitrary curbs on vehicles to reduce pollution are difficult to implement we are not talking about this knee jerk reactions cannot solve the problem of pollution but an evidence based approach will be more effective yes this is what passage talks about knee jerk reactions drastic actions are not way forward but an evidence based approach scientific and reliable information about the source of pollutants will be more effective yes a heavy penalty should be enforced on those driving without periodic pollution tests we are not talking about this in the absence of laws to deal with the problems of pollution the administration tends to make arbitrary decisions in the absence of laws to deal with the problems of pollution we are not talking about this in this passage our answer is b we have to find out logical inference from the passage good corporate governance structures encourage companies to provide accountability and control so the key is good corporate governance structure a fundamental reason why corporate governance has moved on to the economic and political agenda worldwide has been the rapid growth in international capital markets people want to invest where there is a good corporate governance structure this is the reason this has been moved on to economic and political agenda countries want investment this will help in employment gdp growth effective corporate governance enhances access to external financing by firms leading to greater investment higher growth and employment this is what we just talked now investor look to place their funds where the standards of disclosure of timely and accurate financial reporting and of equal treatment to all stakeholders are met these are the requirements of investors It is an important agenda of the countries around the world to ensure access to good external financing. See, the important agenda discussed in this passage is good corporate governance structure. If this has been taken care of, external financing will definitely come. This is not the logical inference. Good corporate governance improves the credibility of the firms. Yes, it encourages companies to provide accountability and control. So sounds sensible let's check other options international capital markets ensure that the firms maintain good corporate governance see it's other way around actually when there is a good corporate governance international capital markets will come and invest this ensures this not this ensures this so wrong good corporate governance paves the way for robust supply chains we haven't talked about supply chains in this passage so answer is b we have to find out the inference elephants are landscape architects creating clearings in the forest preventing overgrowth of certain plant species and allowing space for the regeneration of others which in turn provide sustenance to other herbivorous animals how elephants help the forest system that has been discussed here elephants eat plants fruits and seeds propagating the seeds when they defecate in other places as they travel 
Elephant dung provides nourishment to plants and animals and acts as a breeding ground for insects. In times of drought, they access water by digging holes which benefits other wildlife. The home range of elephants needs to be a vast area of rich biodiversity. See the passage talks other way round. Elephants doesn't need a vast area of rich biodiversity. In fact, they create this is what the author is hinting. Elephants are the keystone species and they benefit the biodiversity. Sounds sensible. Elephants are benefiting the biodiversity. This has been discussed throughout the passage. Rich biodiversity cannot be maintained in the forest without the presence of elephants. This is extreme. This has not been discussed. How elephants benefit the forest system that has been discussed. So eliminate. Elephants are capable of regenerating forests with species as per their requirement. As per their requirement has not been mentioned in the passage. They do it voluntarily. They create clearings in the forest for their use. But this will benefit the other wildlife. So does other activity elephants do. So they don't do it as per their requirement. They do it voluntarily and it will benefit other species. So this is wrong. Answer is B. If this is equal to 8, this is equal to 5, this is equal to 13. What is the value of this? Problem based on sequences and series. Any problem approach systematically. Let's try with addition first. 7 plus 9 plus 10. This symbol is same here and here. So we have to perform the same operation. So this is 26. We got 8. If you see, you add 2 plus 6, it's 8. Let's check other. 9 plus 11 plus 30. This is 20. 20 plus 30, 50. Now 5 plus 0, 5. We got 5. 11 plus 17 plus 21. This is 49. 4 plus 9, 13. Yes, we have 13 here. See, I tried with addition first. If that doesn't work, subtraction. If that doesn't work, multiplication. If that doesn't work, division. So systematic approach in whatever you do. If you can do this, you will definitely solve the problems. Don't try haphazardly. It will waste your time. Systematic way gives you the clarity, helps in saving the time. Now 23 plus 4 plus 15, 27, 27 plus 15, 42, 4 plus 2 that is 6. So our answer is A. Let x be a positive integer such that 7x plus 96 is divisible by x. How many values of x are possible? Problem based on factors from number system. See when 7x plus 96 is divided by x, we need to get the remainder 0 and the quotient as integer. Then only this is divisible by x, right? 6 is divisible by 2, quotient 3, integer. 12 divisible by 4, quotient 3, integer. So when this is divisible by this, resultant, result should be integer. Now 7x by x plus 96 by x, this is 7 plus 96 by x, this should be integer, this is integer. Now this should be integer, integer plus integer, integer. So this must be integer. When this will be integer? When 96 is divisible by x, then also you will be getting the quotient as integer, right? For this to be integer, 96 should be divisible by x. That means x should be factors of 96. Now 96, right, in terms of product of primes, 32 threes are, 32 is 2 power 5. So product of primes, number of factors formula, 1 plus 5 into 1 plus 1, 6 into 2, 12, answer C. Very easy question, we have 2 power 5, 3 power 1, so 1 plus 5, 1 plus 1, so 6 into 2, 12. We have discussed this in factors lecture. Kindly go through it. 